I'm going to use the opportunity to talk a little bit about Emmanuel Ose, the police officer that was killed um, at uh, uh, Bukum three days ago. A heart has been broken uh, about the situation, and I'm using the opportunity to, for us to be able to, you know, get to the bottom of it. You know, very painful stuff that happened to that young man. There are three things that I want to talk to you about. One is the security situation in this country. I think that, you know, Ghana has come to the place where we really have to wake up. I keep telling that, you know, our country is sick. You know, oftentimes when you talk about some of these things, people think, you know, you are too harsh, you talk too harshly, and all stuff like that. But that is not really it, you know. There are a lot of situations that are that can be avoided. We can avoid a lot of some of these crazy mistakes that goes on here and there. And so I'm using the opportunity to, you know, um, tomorrow, God willing, I'm going to uh, come at it very well um, so that I can be able to address it very well. But I think that our, our security situation in this country is weak, is flawed. And uh, we will have to wake up to the task and come up to, you know, uh, with some strategic way and uh, a meaningful way of doing things. Um, I understand that the gun that killed Marcus, the assemblyman for um, Sogakope, was a police rifle that was hired. It was the police officer that hired the rifle to these criminals to kill the honorable assemblyman. But you know, the, despite the fact that there are bad nuts in the service, doesn't mean we cannot up our game. And therefore, I'm going to use the opportunity to speak to our government. This is, this is the a wake up call. Captain Mahama was a wake up call. JB Dankwe was a, even a wake up call. But when Honorable Echo Hayford Hif, was killed, that was more of a wake up call. Because they left us with a threat. They left us with a, with a note. That they are not gone, they are around. And look at how young men puts up arms. The people who need the arms do not have access to it. Police officers and people in security places who deserve the arms don't get the arms. These crazy rubbish people are holding arms, going around all about the place and doing crazy madness, you know. And I do not understand how that works. So they killed the police officer. I mean, like, seriously, that is what they did. They killed an officer in uniform. That was what happened. Very interesting. Number two, I want to speak to our government. The truth of the matter is that, guys, the nation is struggling economically, you know, and uh, young people do not have jobs and all stuff like that. I think that it is time to curb the waste and start doing the job. And so I will tell the government in power, with all due respect, you know, wake up because economically we are crawling and we are struggling economically. And uh, these are some of the things that we should be addressing when we go to parliament. We should be able to have parliamentarians and guys who are going to really sit up and uh, think about the nation. Forget about your petty party politicking that doesn't make anybody any good whatsoever. You know, crime rate is rising in this country. And one of the contributing factors is because um, there are no meaningful uh fair playing fields and all stuff like that instead of you know uh getting the opportunity spread out for everybody to have the share and all stuff like that we give these opportunity to party full soldiers you know to uh, take some of these places and all that so people's hearts are getting hardened I keep telling our leaders you better start listening now you better start listening now
You better start listening now. Some of these calls are wake up calls. You better start listening now because very soon you cannot contain what is coming. So start listening now. Anybody that is talking is encouraged. We need to encourage all these guys that are talking. Keep talking. And everything that they are saying are meaningful stuff. We bring it all to the table and we begin to reason it out and see how best we can be able to work some of these things. It is not only prayer. I mean, we went you know we need to pray a devil is at work it's no two ways about that so i want to tell everybody to you know uh remember this nation in prayer um i use the opportunity to, com to commiserate with or say uh, Emmanuel Osei, the officer, and I say uh, big condolences to his family and also to the police administration. Um, we have a better work to do. Yeah, serious in this country. Now, bank phone, you know, you are risking the lives of all these, you know, innocent officers on all stuff like that. And we will not put the lives of these officers at risk. Yeah. And the right in and order. Your mama deadline up to June. Say, mom, find the baby. Basically, how many bullion bands are in there? A bullion band. Do you know what a Amad bullion band is? A car fumi amade se de pepe enomni adiye because mumu de de condition office mo and these young officers are risking. Do you know they give them 120 Ghana cities a day for that allowance? Ubi ban ye kuno no. Ubi ban ye kuno. Kasi agenti ubi ban ye kuno no. And some of these things are avoidable. We can avoid some of these things. May the Lord have mercy on all of us. Grant us the grace in Jesus' name. When righteousness becomes a lifestyle, breakthroughs, it becomes a thematic. May the Lord bless you and keep you.